All right, well, there was a little amount of snow out there for us, but we really didn't see much. Temperatures were much cooler across the region as we saw most of them uh, right around those low to mid 20s. And yeah, as we head into the evening, maybe a slight chance of flurries earlier on, but a lot of this will head out of here. Just mostly cloudy as we go into the latter portions of the night and then on into Friday as we end off the work week. Could even see a bit more of that sunshine on the way for us like we currently are here in Marquette. 21 degrees, mostly sunny with winds out of the south at 5 miles per hour. Looking at temperatures across the region, lower 20s for us here in Marquette. Off towards the west, you'll notice more of those lower 20s and upper teens. 19 currently in Ironwood, 22 in Ontonagon, 26 as you head farther south in Florence and in Menominee. Eastward, lower to mid 20s in Tuchmunising and in Escanaba, 24 in St. Ignace and Ishpeming, currently at 21 degrees. Winds out of the south, 6 here in Tahoton, 2 in Munising and at 3 in Escanaba, so not too bad when it comes to the wind for us. And looking at your current temperatures across the state, lower 20s and middle 20s across the UP, going farther south, seeing more of those upper 20s and 30s as you go into Oscoda and even mid to upper 30s down in Flint, Port Huron and in Detroit. For us tonight, we are going to see another chilly evening with overnight temperatures dropping uh, closer to those lower teens. But partly sunny conditions are ahead of us as we head into Friday to end off the work week. And by the time we work our way into the weekend, more clouds find their way back to the region. But also more snow chances will come back with those clouds before much cooler air comes back in as we go into next week. And we'll start to drop those numbers below their seasonal values. But here's a look at our setup right now. You can see a low pressure system working its way across the Great Lakes, bringing light snow. Shouldn't be much as we go into this evening, first half of the evening that is, before uh, we head into tomorrow and we should remain dry all across the area before more of that comes back in by late tomorrow night heading into Saturday. Your future cast model shows us that a little weak feature comes through, providing that enhancement in snowfall for us should be gone by tomorrow. Partly sunny conditions across the region, but seeing those clouds thicken back up for tomorrow night with our next chance of snow coming in. And we'll continue to see chances of snow as we head on into the weekend as feature after feature come through and much cool air will be on the way as we get into next Monday and Tuesday. But here's a look at tonight. We'll drop down to 14 degrees, cold with light snow. Winds expected out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your Friday, partly sunny and chilly with winds out of the northwest between 5 to 15. A high of 24 in Lawns, 25 in Ontonagon, 26 as we head into Florence and in Iron Mountain, upper 20s in Escanaba, Manistique, and in Munising. Now let's look at your seven day forecast. Highs will continue to be right around those middle 20s as we head into Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we'll see that number bounce up to 33 degrees, and that's going to be in front of that system that will bring us the much cooler air. So on the front side of it, yes, a bit mild, but on the back side of it, much colder air will come in. And here's a look at that as we take a look at your next seven days. 27 as we head into Monday, dropping down to 17 by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the middle teens for afternoon highs. So a much different story for us as we go into the mid and latter portions of next week. For this week, though, and heading into the weekend, you'll see that temperatures will be right around their averages, maybe even a bit above average as we head into Sunday, expecting more of that snow as well. Now, this will be lake effect snow with the cooler air coming in, so it's not going to be a constant snow, not expecting any huge snowstorm. So uh, there will be areas that pick up quite a decent amount of accumulation because of where the bands might set up. But uh, that's going to be uh, here and now, and that's going to be more of a uh, now type of forecast as we go into next week. But we are going to be looking out for the light snow on into the weekend, so do prepare for that and also prepare for the much colder air that is on its way by next Tuesday and Wednesday.